We're going to evaluate the limit of x times ln x as x approaches 0 from the right. We can approach 0 from the left, of course, because natural log is undefined for negative inputs. Natural log is also undefined at 0, but that doesn't stop us from approaching 0. Here is a graph of the function. As you might be able to guess, our limit is going to end up being 0. This function is approaching a value of 0 from the right. But we can't just plug 0 in since natural log of 0 is undefined. So how do we evaluate this limit? We're going to have to use L'Hopital's rule. To use L'Hopital's rule, we'll need to rewrite our function as a ratio of functions, which we can do like this. Instead of multiplying by x, we divide by 1 over x. That's the same thing. And now we've got a ratio of functions, so we can consider L'Hopital's rule. Let's make sure that this is an indeterminate form by plugging in 0 and seeing what we get. If we plug 0 into the natural log, we're approaching 0 from the right, so the natural log will be going to negative infinity. The natural log of a really small positive number is a huge negative number. And if we plug 0 into 1 over x, that's just going to be positive infinity, because 1 divided by a really small positive number is positive infinity. So clearly we have an indeterminate form, negative infinity over infinity. That means L'Hopital's rule applies. So to evaluate this limit using L'Hopital's rule, instead of looking at this ratio of functions, we'll look at the ratio of their derivatives. So we'll need to take the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. Remember that we do those separately when we use L'Hopital's rule. The derivative of ln x is just 1 over x, that's not so bad, and the derivative of 1 over x, that's just a power rule on x to the negative 1, and so that's going to be negative 1 divided by x squared. And now we can rewrite this and we'll nearly be done. Dividing by this fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So what we really have here is 1 over x times x squared over negative 1. That's the same as negative x squared divided by x. And now the x's will cancel out, and so what we've got is the limit with x approaching 0 from the right of negative x over 1, or just negative x. And at this step, we can just plug 0 into the limit, since negative x is continuous and defined at 0. And that's going to tell us the limit, as we expected, is 0. And that's how we evaluate the limit of x ln x as x approaches 0 from the right using L'Hopital's rule. Answer turns out to be 0, and I hope this was a helpful explanation. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or video requests. Hidden.